My subject today will be about how to replace data, database components, but let's say it in more, more correctly, database direct communication uh, with REST API calls instead of direct uh, di direct uh, SQL queries, we will use REST API. I'll show a real example of this. Uh, by the way, in the beginning, I'll explain what this application will do. Uh, this is a three-tier application, uh, client application using uh, with Delphi. Uh, database is MySQL SQL Server, and uh, between them, we will have a PHP web service. Uh, why, uh, we, why did we uh, select uh, this kind of uh, technologies? Because we wanted to have uh, something developed from scratch and uh, maybe uh, something closer to web applications and Linux uh, with Linux hosting. And this is why we selected uh, MySQL and PHP. Uh, of course, uh, it can be a lot of different realizations of server part. It can be TMS software. Uh, uh, products it can be uh, Azure and .NET and it also can be a lot of Delphi uh, uh, frameworks like uh, for instance Red Server. But uh, in my example we will have a SQL, uh, MySQL, uh, PHP server service and Delphi applications with native uh, Delphi REST API uh, components. Applications application is very easy. Uh, we will have just a couple of tables in the database. It's like users for the authentication. It won't have any uh, JLWT authentication. It's just as easy as possible, just for showing how, how is it possible to implement database access using REST API, even without any SQL and without any mappings. We will have a REST API components, uh, native Delphi components, data uh, binding, and uh, memory tables uh, with uh, FireDuck. And these applications just have a login, uh, update profile, uh, and application. of course, each user will have different uh, levels of uh, permissions. And we will just uh, we will try to get some data, like list of users or, or customers from the database. I already said this. Uh, here is just an explanation of our uh, database structure. I think later, or as maybe I did not say before, uh, this uh, webinar will be recorded and uh, share it uh, on YouTube. I think uh, it will be better to find a link on the GitHub for this example and implement, if necessary, implement it for your application. But also, you will be able to uh, watch this explanation. Uh, application just have uh, one uh, one form with uh, uh, multiple uh, tabs, as I said, like login, registration, uh, this, uh, profile page, uh, and list of customers. Uh, on the server side, on the server side, uh, we will have uh, also uh, a couple of entry points like uh, REST API methods. And uh, this uh, message will be called from uh, our Delphi components. It will be TRS, T REST client, T REST request, T REST response, and response data set updater, updater, adapter. Uh, I'll, I'll show you later how it works. Uh, on the form, we will have such type of components for data access and for the data store and binding them to the UI controls. Also, it's uh, easier to have uh, uh, to, to see uh, as an example. Oh, sorry. Good. Uh, let's let's switch and go to the uh, Delphi. But net, let's start from the uh, uh, bottom side, like from the my SQL. Uh, our uh, on the GitHub, as I said, you will have an example and we will have a, a database schema. Uh, and you can uh, implement all this example uh, on your own. <coughs> I just, uh, I'm, I'm using the latest version of uh, MySQL, which you can download for free. And after that, you can just create new schema as database and uh, restore this uh, data, uh, the script, and you will have a database with just two tables. It's a MySQL. 
for uh, accessing uh, and implementation of REST API server, as I said, we will use a script, PHP script, which will uh, access uh, to the database. And with this script, this script implements a couple of methods like create user, login user, is user locked, and so on. Here is like an example. Actually, uh, you guys can just take this example and it can be like a base for your future REST API server if you want to implement it using a PHP, of course. Uh, and here is an example like entry point for all REST API requests. And for running this all this uh, example of my uh, local machine, I'm using uh, such product which called Easy PHP. You can also uh, download it and it will work and you will be able to perform uh, your PHP scripts without uh, installing and uh, Apache or Nginx or any other web service uh, which uh, for or even e internet information services with uh, PHP support. It's, it's very easy. Here is the panel for uh, all this, for this uh, development environment tool. And as I said, on the Delphi Power side, we will have single application with all our uh, with all components which I mentioned before. Uh, also, for the testing our REST API example, we can use uh, REST API client from Google. Uh, and here is for, for Google Chrome. And here is you can see that on this address is running my uh, web server. And this web server has a website with this services PHP, one script with, which handles all our, our service part. And that's just, this is this one. This is this is this is example. And this is the code in this node part of this server. And uh, as a parameters, we have to put as a query string, but it also can be done a lot of different ways. This, as I said, this example is uh, as simple as possible. We can send parameters to the query string, and it also will work the same way as our Delphi, our Delphi application. You can see, just we send some requests, and our PHP script works and it has access to our database and let's now let's switch to the uh, our delphi application uh, here is we have uh, rest uh, api uh, components which is a part of the delphi it's not it's not an, any additional components and uh, all these components will implement our interaction with our php script our uh, let's say uh, apache uh, web servers web server and uh, you see uh, that for us it doesn't matter on which server part technology will be implemented. And uh, via binding uh, source components, we will map uh, input and output queries to our memory tables. And our memory tables are linked to our uh, real components. Let's start an example. Because actually this part, uh, let's say it can be like a different subject for the uh, webinar is same thing like uh, Andreas and Ian's and Wagner subject, but we try to uh, put everything together shortly, but it can be like a good base for starting some new developments or just uh, figuring out how some technologies uh, is working on practice. Here we, I, I am putting some credentials. We in this uh, uh, what is under the hood. Our REST components perform uh, a request to the uh, uh, server. Server perform some data uh, uh, processing and get uh, get data from the My MySQL database. And it, it, it uh, after that, our Delphi application receives some response and process it here. 
we can update our profile we can get list of some customers it's everything which mapped or from the our database if we go here you can see that we have this customers database and it it was taken from our mysql database and here is we just can see our users is all, which also from our demo database and if we check what do we have under the hood here we can see that we do not have any models everything what what we perform uh, is, is based on the uh, uh, rest uh, rest api uh, responses which are will be transferred to where our the, the data binding sources sorry i have to close up why our binding sources to our uh, memory tables uh, just uh, i want to show uh, visually uh, bind, uh, bind visually here is how it look like looks like and if we go uh, check how it works with the components you can see that we are uh, using the same uh, REST uh, request component for any request. We just provide necessary uh, input parameters and uh, implement this, uh, perform this request. After uh, we are getting, in, in, let's say, in async mode the response, it's also very critical uh, because this example is for the like a desktop application, but actually you can use the same code for your mobile application and. It, it doesn't matter in this case, but for mobile applications, it's very crucial to have asynchronous uh, data interaction and data interchange uh, process. And after getting the response, is automatically where the binding source uh, goes to the uh, our memory table, which, as I said, link it to the uh, uh, our controls. I think that the, this example can be uh, helpful for the developers who just uh, have an idea how to start implementation of their REST API if they have some uh, uh, idea that they want to use uh, some uh, Linux based technologies on the server side and working on the client side. As I said, uh, we, we will share the link. To this example, of course, it's better to download it and check how it works because you know that words, just words, cannot explain uh, everything uh, which can be just discovered by yourself. This is what everything what I wanted to share with you right now. As I said, it's better to get this uh, example and explore it and discover how to implement this heuristic API.